I seen this video the other day, but I didn't get to watch it, of course. Like I said, we don't... I'm not watching no 2K content, period. But I watch the 2K content with y'all so that it can lead to me talking about the other stuff that's coming today. Um, you know, I had did that little one-hour rant the other day about 2K. And when I did that little rant video, I seen this in the recommendation. NBA 2K25 is garbage. And I'm tired of it. So I would like to see what he got to say about NBA 2K25 that most of us are beating the drums about. So let's let's hear what he got to say about it. And as always, the link to this video will be in the description. Y'all following, liking what he got to say. You know what I'm saying? Go hit that subscribe button. Thing like um he's a very he got 512,000 subscribers, so I'm pretty sure his input will make a difference, whether it's small or large. And that's what I like to see. I like to see people with these type of numbers in subscriber counts speak their truth about the game that most of us play out of love. You know, there are some people that play this game out of business. And we don't, we don't, you know what I'm saying, hate on that. We don't knock that. There are some people that only play 2K to get a video for today so they can upload it to their channel. After they upload that video, 2K is a, a dust. It's it's a it's a blink of 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 time, you know, of, of space. It doesn't matter. After they get that product to go on to their servers so that they can push that product out for their company, then what else would I care about 2K for? I'm going on about my day. But some of us we really love this basketball game. We really love this this game. We're really caught up behind this game. So we look you know, for things to be fixed when things are broken. So, like I said, I, I think the only people that can help with that is the major content creators. And he is a major content creator, so I'm very, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he got to say about this. So let's get started. I have been playing basketball video games since Lakers versus Celtics on the Sega Genesis. Since Jordan versus Bird on the NES. I forgot I used to play that game too because my uncle had it. And I come from the era of when basketball games had competition. You remember going back to like the PS2 and you had NBA 2K, NBA Live, NBA Shootout. You had multiple companies making multiple basketball games every year. And what happened during that era? What happened? We saw the advancement of basketball video games because there was competitions. Companies were vying for your dollar. They were right. And, and that's what I love because, see, you know, my brain, I'm always trying to put video game and reality together. I'm not together. I'm trying to show you the same picture, but in the reality form. Like, okay, hey, you see that crossover right there on the screen? Okay, that's video game. Okay, now look at this person do this real crossover in real life. That's reality. So what I mean is I try to paint the picture of, so you can see it in reality format. Okay, competition cr creates better product, right? In, in, in video game world, because there's competition, 2K has to go a step higher. NBA Live has to go a step higher. EA Sports has to go a step higher. Okay, then we transition that into real life. We know competition make us stronger. We know when we are competing um, against someone else, we tend to bring it tend to bring out the best of us. It's tend to you know like you're trying to get into the military, and they you know you know we hear about the training for the Navy SEALs guys. How it's life or death, but through that process of life or death, but Navy Seals creates some of the best soldiers in the world. You know, so it's that process of competing for mother and father love. So you go to school every day to try your best to produce great grades, so that you can take these grades home for your parents and your so that they can smile at you, so they can give you gifts. It's the it's the competing of trying to court this woman that has multiple men in her face, but you trying to be the only man that she see 
every night. So you doing certain things. It's the same way for my ladies when you're dealing with this man that has um, other women that are, are looking at him. So you saying you want to cook for him. You want to do these things for him. Like, we know competition bring out the best of us. And we know what happens when men don't have no competition. When they don't feel like they need to improve in their life, they sit on the couch and they become overweight. They become less productive to society. So that's what I mean when I say I try to take video game perception and then I try to show you the real life perception of it as well. And when there is no competition, we know there is no growth. So we sit back and say, hmm, has it been any competition for 2K in a long time? It hasn't been any competition for a long time. So therefore, hmm, we're getting what we're getting wanted you to play their game instead of the other company's games so you would get and look i'm not saying that all of these games were great because they weren't there were some that were stinkers but you had companies trying different things each one of these games gave you a different feeling of basketball and companies would take things from their competitors and implement it into their game to try to make their game better it was a beautiful facts this guy right here, he was the epitome of NBA basketball games. This guy right here, Mike Wayne, the guy you're looking at right here, was the guy that was working for NBA Live. Then 2K got him somehow to come work for them. Then he went back to NBA Live. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then he went back to NBA Live. Then went back to 2K because he was the prize. It was competing to get him to make their game. This guy right here. So a lot of the stuff we say about this guy right here, we know he know how to make a phenomenal basketball game. Although it's hard to tell nowadays. You know, it's hard to tell that this guy right here was the reason NBA Lives was thriving. It's hard to tell that this guy right here was the reason that NBA 2K16 was so amazing. NBA 2K15 before patch 4 was amazing. NBA 2K17 was amazing. And, you know, it's hard to tell that this guy right here is behind those amazing games. This guy broke his technology from NBA Live to 2K. Then he went back to NBA Live and tried to save it. You know, couldn't save it no more after he had already. And I don't know how they let this nigga go back and forth between companies like that. I don't know. You know, I don't know what type of pool he had, but this guy right here was who the basketball companies was fighting over to get to make their game. And it's just so hard to know that this guy right here has removed himself so far or he was removed intentionally by the corporation of business so far from what we know of him to make we know the product he can make so you know it's just like man you know in my opinion the money just took over so much that they probably have put him on a restriction they probably have advised him to how can you merge this game in a way that it can be balanced for the non-average basketball player? Like, we know you know how to make a phenomenal game. That's what we hired you for. But time have changed. We are now in an all-inclusive area of life. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody needs to be able to participate. You know what I'm saying? Even if he have one arm and one leg, they want to put him on the, on the field with everybody that has all their body parts. And this is no disrespect, but this is just saying that there is a league for those. I just seen a league of basketball where everybody was in a wheelchair. I just seen a basketball competition where everybody was in a wheelchair. I said, wow. I seen a soccer competition where each player had some form 
an altercation to their body, whether they had a amputated leg, amputated arm, whether they was um, grown different. Like it was, I there are so. But our world has bought into this, where we understand that you don't have all your body parts, but we still want to allow you to come out here, and everybody gonna stop in the middle of this basketball game to allow you to get you a shot up, and we're gonna keep letting you throw up a shot, and that's because I'm saying it doesn't mean I don't have a heart, right? But that's what the world would do. The world would say, you don't have a heart. Oh, look at you. You are hate. You're an evil guy. I'm an evil guy because I can recognize the difference. I don't want to lose you in what I'm saying, so I'm going to keep playing the video. Full time. And now fast forward to the year good, of our Lord, 2024. And all we have is NBA 2K remaining. There's no more competition. Uh -huh. And this isn't a situation like Madden, where the NFL is working with Madden, so there can be no competition. The NBA is an open floor, and nobody's stepping up to get into the mix with it. So all we have left... See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we need to find out the truth. He said, unlike Madden, 2K is an open floor. But we just heard last year that 2K blocked live along with the NBA blocked NBA live from releasing the game that they was about to release. See, we need correct information. And I don't know if he's lying or the information we heard last year is false. So it's a little confusing because we just heard last year, it was a big story last year, if you remember, or was it a year before last? But I think it was last year, could it be a year before last, that NBA Live was about to produce a game, but the NBA, along with 2K, blocked them from producing that game. Now, I don't know how true that is, but didn't y'all hear the story about that? Is NBA 2K. And NBA 2K25, once again, it's going to be a reimagining of the NBA 2K series. They're going to do all this awesome stuff. It's going to be the best one ever. We added in 10 million new animations and more advanced AI and facial features and stuff like that. And what happened? It's the same damn game. It is <laughs> the same damn game with the same damn core fundamental problems that we have been dealing with four years now i love that he pointed out the core the core of basketball has been dog shit i love that he pointed that out the core we don't care about all this extra fancy cosmetic stuff that you can add the core rebounding passing running shooting defense dunking the core is damaging I haven't recorded a single second of footage of me playing this game, and I'm not going to. You're just going to listen to me in this video. As I go over some of my problems with NBA 2K25, because I'm sure you will have problems as well, feel free to put those in the comments section down below. Let's start with the crux of the game. That, of course, being basketball playing a basketball game with National Basketball Association players. The thing that should be the biggest focus of NBA 2K is the NBA portion. <laughs> and when you play a game of NBA 2K25, you quickly realize, like I said, it's the same old stuff. Yeah, oh, they changed up the shot meter because that doesn't happen every year. They don't change the shot meter every year, but now there's a new shot meter. And you know what? it's fine it's fine i don't hate it it works it gets the job done see i love the angle that he's coming from i love it i love it because he's saying i don't have an issue with 2k adding their, their new gadgets we love it you want to add a new shot meter for the kids you want to add some sweat for the kids and when I say kids, I'm not talking about an age group. I'm simply talking about young, silly mindset of what we all is here for. 
whether you grown man or a grown woman or a little young jit. I'm simply saying that's some kid shit that you care about the sweat. You care about the, the new shy meter. You care about the new dark meter. So I love the angle that he's coming from. And yeah, I may be a little salty and not, not salty. I may be a little disrespectful to say that, you know, kid shit, because that's your preference. That's what you like. Okay. But do we forget about the core? The core? So you can add whatever you want. I'm not mad at 2K for adding in sweat for you. I'm not mad at 2K making the jacket or the, the jersey sway a little bit. Oh, you know, you got your ripples in your. Oh, look at his jersey. Do you see the details in the stitching? Then last year we seen a video where somebody made a video about the stitching. The stitching of the jersey. Bro, did you see the stitching on the jersey? Do you, do you see how the jersey moves? When he's full, do you see the arm hair? Do you see that? They got arm hair on here. Do you see the new body sizes? What about the core? So I love the angle that he's coming from. He's not saying I hate your new gadgets. We appreciate your new gadgets. We appreciate your new customers, customization. Your part that's swimming on a boat. You got a, 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 a. What they call the shit? The yacht. The, I can't think of the name. The carnival yacht. You got the big boats. You got the cars driving by. You got sound effects. You got go karts in the game. We got chain nets. You got got nets. You got to wait for your spot like in the real life. Okay, pretty cool. So, well, ah. Can you fix the game though? That's all. That's all I'm saying. And it sounds like he coming from the same place. We're not mad at your new features, but can you fix the old features where you started at? And that was basketball. But what is different about this game of basketball? Did you tweak your AI in the game? Because you're <laughs> going to have to play with computer counterparts on your team. Is the AI smarter now? Does the AI actually <laughs> act like they're in a basketball game? Right. No. No. Does the computer AI act like they're in a basketball game? No. Does the pick and roll work every single time and defenses never adjust and never hedge or never switch? No. It's the same old thing. It's the same old thing. Hey. I literally have thrown. I just looked at your comment. Well, I looked at a server. I looked at some old comments too, D-Lock, man. Sorry about the situation with your baby mother that you haven't seen your kids since they was two. And now your baby mother about to let you see him in January in there for and listen, forget about what happened. Keep moving forward. Embrace the time that you're going to get with him. You know what I'm saying? I know it sucked. I know. It. <laughs> Believe me. But um, y'all finna move past that. No, don't get just don't get hung up on how much time you miss. Just get hung up on how much time you got with him now. So congratulations on that. But the comment I just noticed as well, my boy said, look at the motherfucking wheel. This wheel is in the, the wheel. The little spinning wheel where we win a prize daily for logging in on, on their game. Here you go. Spin our wheel for joining our game service today. And every fucking time we spin that wheel. 500 BC. 30 minute rep. Bull ish after bull ish after bull ish. 500 today. 500 tomorrow. Two, two, 2,500 the next day. Uh, I'm going to give you a little 30 minute X uh, double rep this day. Okay, here you go. Your 500 again. 500 again. 500 again. That will is a shame. That will is sickening. That will is a disgrace. Get it just to remove it. Just remove it. Every day is the same thing or, the, or one of your other three options. It, it, come on, bro. Just get rid of the wheel, dog. Passes to where I have watched the replay. And you could watch the end because, you know, got to have the best graphics in the world. You can watch a defender's <laughs> eyeballs.
focused on the ball as it whizzes past their head. Not Facts. even putting a hand up. Facts. Speaking of putting a hand up, you're driving to the right side of the basket, going up with your right hand, while a defender who has high stats is on the left side of the basket oh and my goes goodness. up with their left hand straight into the air. Well, you bet. I love it. I love it. Let me let him repeat this. Let him repeat this. I just spoke about this with Jay's the other day. This game is so far removed from basketball. It don't even make the, the logic of basketball does not get portrayed by 2K. But they want to do everything with graphics. My boy just said you can see the damn eyeballs. You can see the color of your player eyes in this game. That's how amazing the graphics are. But the player don't know which hand to put up to get a better contest on defense. Let me repeat that. The player doesn't know if he should put up his left hand or his right hand to get a better contest on the jump shot. Damn, man, that was beautiful what he just said. Let me let him repeat that. Of putting a hand up, you're driving to the right side of the basket, going up with your right hand. While a defender who has high stats is on the left side of the basket and goes up with their left hand straight into the air? Well, you better hope and pray that the person you are driving to the basket with has a high enough stat to not be intimidated by a person on the other side of the goal <laughs> with the opposite hand up. Because that's still an issue with this game. Uh, Why can't I challenge a call? I can challenge a call in football games since NFL... 2k5 can't challenge a call in this game <laughs> even though it's been in basketball for a very long time your teammates are still brain dead call a play or else they're just gonna stand around with their thumb in their ass but why would you call anything besides a pick and roll it's going to work every single time but honestly the basketball portion crazy, of this game is probably the least of my problems with this game. The basketball is fine. There are quirks to it. There are problems with it, but it's fine. It's serviceable. It's the game built around the basketball that is the problem. My player, my play, because I wanna play NBA 2K25 to play as a five foot 10 white guy named RGT and go and do my rank ups and do the city stuff and ride a skateboard or a bicycle around the city and have to use virtual currency, which is really just real world currency in order to make my player worth a damn. But people can just put money down and make their player Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't have to, you really don't have to grind anything. If you've got money, you could just buy yourself. You could buy a, a beast of a player and dominate that. But where is the fun in that? Wait, where, where, where is the fun in that? See, we used to have that. We used to have to earn our skills. That was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful that if you wanted to be a jump shooter, if you wanted to be a three-point shooter, you had to shoot threes in the game. You cannot buy it. But see, what, that's what, this is what I was just telling somebody the other night. Even if it's evil, I love a beautiful mind. Somebody at 2K said, we can monetize every skill. I'm not an evil person, but I love a brain. I love to witness the brain ability of others. Whether that's you graduating high school at 13, 14 years old. Beautiful brain. Whether you creating how to drive a car on water, oxygen. Like, 
this is not normal for us. So when we see this, I'll be like, man, beautiful. And I feel the same way when I see people like Bill Gates able to get millions of people to eat fake meat. So when I see 2K come with their beautiful strategy, it's evil, it's fucked up, but it's beautiful. And I say, wow, they was able to figure out that this is some, we can monetize this. We can monetize passing in a basketball game. 2K has monetized the court. Passing, shooting, dunking, dribbling. All these things now have a price attached to them. Do you know how fucked up that is in a game that is made for basketball? They are charging for the core. You can't tell me that ain't crazy, but it's beautiful. It's fucked up, but it's beautiful because you got to say, who thought of some shit like this? Who thought about creating a game and charging for the core? And guess what? We see every game doing it now. We see every game doing it now. Every game is charging for the core of what they're producing. These motherfuckers having. If you made a basketball game, why on earth would you charge me to run? Why on earth would you charge me to shoot? These are things that I should earn. But see, 2K seen that the market was complaining about. I don't have a lot of time. And see, what do great businessmen and women do? They'll find a solution to your problem. So many people was complaining, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to earn my way to being a good shooter. I don't have enough time to earn my way to being faster, having more stamina. So 2K, with their brilliant marketing team, sat back and say, they don't have enough time, huh? They're complaining that they have to go to work, then come home and grind their player. Hmm. Hey, get them on the phone. Well, how about we just allow them to buy their player? But hell yeah. I would like to know. Some of y'all that be going out here and researching. That you really have time for shit like this. Go see how much 2K went up in marketing and sales and profits when they went from earning your player to buying your player. I bet we see a 300 to 500% jump. I bet. I bet we see a 300 to 500% jump in, 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 in revenue. To earn your player, to buy your player, that was a that was a foundation that set 2K on top of the, 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 the Mount Rushmore. 2K did not have to, not only did you not buy your player outright, 2K made you buy every attribute. So everything about your player has a price attached to it. The only thing that you get free is the skin color. You have to pay for your hair. You have to pay for your shoes. You get, the, you get that brown shirt for free and them gray pants. Everything else, you got to come out of your pocket. And guess what? You don't come out of your pocket. 2K doesn't allow you to make enough VC to have a nice, decent player unless you want to wait months down the road. And guess what? If you want to wait months down the road, that go back into the person that's saying, I don't have enough time. So what is that person that he already been complaining, saying, I don't have enough time to earn my player. So now you say, listen, oh, I love a beautiful brain. I think sometimes I may be a psycho, but I'm a psycho for a beautiful brain. Now, like I said, that could be somebody that's evil and somebody that's good. I just love a beautiful brain. I love thinkers. I love people that know how to think. Oh, I fucking love it. Um, 
So 2K said to themselves, we have a new strategy. They don't want to earn their stats. We don't, they tired of shooting jump shots to be a good mid-range shooter. They tired of fading. They don't like actually had to go into a real game. At first, 2K said, okay, in the real game, we need you to fade against Anonymous. You want to be a fader? Then fade against him. So then the community kept complaining. 2K said, okay, well, fade against the AI. I let you do it in my career. You can fade in my career. The community still kept complaining. 2K kept solving their problem. <laughs> That's why I say, 2K, you're not really bad. You're just good at solving problems. And the community helped you to get to the evil corporation that you are today. The community helped you get there because they kept complaining about putting in work. The community helped 2K become this money-hungry company. You, you that did not want to grind your way to being a better player. You that did not want to earn your dunking ability because you cannot, you, you ain't have enough skills to get to the realm and dunk against me, against him, against her. So you got mad and you started whining and crying and you saying, man, I can't, I can't dunk in a real game playing against Anonymous, playing against her, playing against him. Okay, 2K said, well, go to your my career and dunk on the AI. That still was too long for you though, huh? That still was too long for you. So 2K just kept solving your problems and solving your problems. So finally 2K said, like any other businessman that give out free game. See, I heard a motivational speaker say, I used to give out free speeches at the airport. What is fucking name? What is fucking name? It started with a P. Some of y'all gonna know who I'm talking about. He's the number one motivational speaker in the world. I don't know. I think he's still living. Pinnacle. Y'all gonna know who I'm fucking talking about. He used to give our free speeches at the airport while he was traveling. And he used to feed the people. Free speeches, free food, free drinks. The people kept complaining and complaining and complaining. that he stopped giving away free stuff because they were trying to sue him because they were saying the food was cold. He said, God damn, if I'm feeding 15 to 2,500 people, somebody food gonna be coming if I'm feeding this many people. Well, I'm giving you free game and I'm supplying y'all with food and be beverage. So guess what? Now he have to charge. See, a lot of stuff is given to us. I didn't know I was gonna be on this type of time today. That's why I say I love a beautiful brain. I didn't know we was going to be talking on this level today, but we're here. So, so many of y'all, you had the ability to play the game and earn your skills. But you don't put 2K in a position to where they can refuse. Because you kept opening up your mouth. You kept complaining. And this corporation that has brilliant people working with them, they just going to keep complaining. We allow them to play this game and earn their shooting ability. They want to shoot from leap long range? We'll do it in the game. Hey, it's too hard. I got to play against these real good players and stuff, and it's just too hard to get my limited range in the middle of a game while I'm trying to play against this good player. Well, that don't mean, well, you shouldn't have limited range. Well, but I want limited range, though. I mean, well, get it in the game. But I can't get it in the game, though, because this dude right here, is, he playing defense. He won't allow me to shoot that stupid shot. Well, I don't know. Okay, we'll figure out a solution for y'all next 2K. Okay, now you have the ability to get it versus your my player. You want to play my career all day <coughs> and do fades and shoot limited range shot? Still was complaining. Still was complaining. So now 2K said, Let's just not charge them for badges. Do y'all see it? Am I not painting this picture for you? It's sickening what 2K is doing. But how did they get sick? You have created a monster, and now you don't like this monster. See, I never was a fan. If you go back and look at my history, I always have been against this, stop complaining that you have to earn your way to be as good as you want to be. Stop complaining that you have to do hook shots 
Now you hate the post scores. But you complain it. That the, see, when the post score had to earn his hook shots in the game, he couldn't be as efficient. Because he had a 70. He had to keep earning his way. He had to keep making hook shots. He wasn't making hook shots that efficient. Because he wasn't a 99 yet. He couldn't just be a 99 because he had the money. See, 2K was in a situation where the rich can play it and the poor can play it. And we all started at the same spot. See, it didn't matter how much money you had because you still had to start with me. It didn't matter how poor you had because you still had to start with me. Now, the people with money, guess what we say? You think I'm finna wait? I think I got a job. I got a job. 99 today. Oh, yo, ass, I'm going. Man, I can't win a game because all these niggas are already 99. <laughs> you damn right. You damn right we already 99. And we know how to play. We already 99 and we already know how to play. You're done. It's going to take you months to get where we at. And by the time you get to where we at, guess what? We don't even want to play the game no more. Because we already know the game is ass. We done already had our fun with the bullshit. You just now getting uh, 300 wins, 400 wins, but you got 600 losses. We got 10,000 wins. Don't even give a fuck about the game no more. Because all we had to do was get the gratification of today. See, we didn't have to wait for the gratification. See, a lot of you, when you go and you don't buy VC and you don't buy your way to your 99, you get your later gratification. You get the gratification after a couple months. Man, I'm finally 99. I can, my dude, he messed better. See, we got the gratification today. Soon as the game released, 99 today. 99 today. And guess what? Millions of people is going to do that. Whether they have money or not, they're going to find a way because, and this is what's so beautiful about 2K. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. 2K, y'all landed in a beautiful situation. Y'all have landed in a beautiful situation. I cannot be upset with y'all for being so brilliant. You've seen a pipeline. You've seen a gold mine. And the gold, 2K is just over flooded with gold. Because now, based on their strategy, that they did not know. See, 2K did not have this strategy. This strategy was created through the community and that's what i mean by beautiful minds because this was not their game plan but when we created the pipeline and then the world started transitioning around us business 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 everybody is hungry everybody is greedy now there's no more um help the little man up and fuck that little man he better get up i'm going to the top and you know everybody started getting their hands on the 48 laws of power uh, you know, shit, fuck the next man. Get yours. Manipulate him. You know what I'm saying? Sell him, man. Sell him. You know, get him to buy your shit. Fuck buying his shit. How many subscribers can you get? Fuck how many subscribers he can get. You know what I'm saying? Yo, your company is bad. I, I want everybody over here. You know, everybody just start getting greedy. So, the, the gold miner was created for 2K. 2K has this situation beautiful situation for them beautiful they'll have money for for decades to come no matter if you stop playing today the money gonna keep company coming because why you is 99 right this kid that's looking and saying to himself you see this motherfucker already 99 right well how do i compete with that i got a 60 or 70 but i want to play part two i want to play rec two i want to play i want to play pro m but well, the only way you're gonna be able to play it you're going to have to get a 99 because 2K now have creators. The same reason that they fly their creators out to give them information to come back and feed the market. Oh, oh my God. It was, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, 2K. And I always, I always celebrate your beautifulness uh, of evil. It's evil, but you did not get evil by yourself. The community helped you become evil and you just ran with it. You just ran with it. So um, while this kid is saying to himself, Anonymous is already 99, how do I compete with that? So now this kid is saying, 
Shit, if I got to steal the credit card, I'll steal the credit card. If my daddy won't give me the money to, because he just bought this game, nobody's going to give me this money. I go find a part-time job just to have 2K money so I can buy VC. I go ask my auntie. I go ask my grandmother. I'm going to get this VC because what? The urges and the drive to compete. Do you know how powerful the word competition is? Do you know how powerful it is to compete? There is this study that was done in Africa about being number one. And the study trip us all the way down to being number 10, to being number 20, to being the top 100. To be in the top 1,000. So with these urges that form up in us for wanting to compete. See, wanting to compete is not as simple as I'm saying it. No, there's a urge. There's a drive that says that I want to be able to compete with that. What do I have to do? Why do you think people cheat? There's a urge to compete. There's a urge to be one of the best. Why do you think we race to be the first legend? There's a prize. Whether we be number one, number two, number three, number four, whether we be the top one million. Being in the top one million is better than not being in the top one million because we have all been birthed on this. It goes always back to school. See, type one if you know what I'm talking about. See, I'm saying some real deal shit right now. I'm saying some shit. And see, that's what I always do. I always come on here and I'm able to paint reality of a video game with reality of life. And everybody ain't going to be able to see what I'm talking about, but a lot of people are going to be like, damn, this nigga is, he knows some shit. And that's what I mean. See, you can know some shit too, but you have to step outside of the reality that is given to you. See, the reality that is given to us, most of us are going to lay down with it, go to sleep with it, because it's easy. It's easy to just go and do what everybody else is doing. I don't want to get off subject. I felt like I was about to go on a whole other tangent. But what I'm saying to you is, 2K has created a beautiful system. It's so beautiful. I know I say that. I know I keep saying that, but it's beautiful. Even though it's evil. But the community of, of, of 2K helped them to create everybody that was too lazy and did not appreciate the fact that you had to earn being a three-point shooter. This is your fault. But see, you ain't going to claim that now, is it? See, everybody that said, I don't have enough time to work. I mean, I don't have enough time. Everybody that say, I, I, I mean, I, I don't have enough time. I got kids. I got family. Every one of you that said that you didn't have enough time, this is your fault. But you ain't going to claim it, though. You ain't going to step up and say, I'm one of them. I see my mistake. Damn, if I would have just been okay with grinding my player out and, and, and just playing the game whenever I had a chance to play the game, if I wasn't so thirsty to be in the loop. See, if I wasn't so thirsty to be a competitor, then I would have been okay with whenever I got on, I know my player ain't that good, you know what I'm saying, because I don't have enough time, but this nigga talking about I'm trash, and I'm like, nigga, you had enough time to play the game all day. And that's what they say. You've been on the game all day. Of course your player going to be better than mine. You remember, you remember what they used to say back in the days? Because they had to go to work while none of the 2K TV was grinding 2K because this was my job. See, I was at work too. But they wanted to go to work and have they fun at their job, then come to my job and get mad and get mad because they can't compete with me at my job. My job is to play 2K. His job or her job is to go do what they do. 
But I don't come to their job and get mad that I ain't on their level. But they come to my job and say, man, this ain't right. This ain't fair. How it ain't fair? I've been playing the game. So I earned the right to shoot limitless range because I had to play so many games to finally unlock this badge. But you ain't want to do that. You want it to be the best while you go to work. Why I had to stay here and grind. You wanted to be on my level. Oh, I love it. I love it. I know because I'm painting a real picture for you. I know it. I know it, right? Ain't this the truth? You the reason our game is bad today. You helped create a monster. You created a fucking money-hungry beast. You did that. You did that. But you ain't going to own it. You're going to deny it. Nah, it, it wasn't me. I wasn't the uh -uh. I wasn't one of the ones that were complaining that, that them guy was already good and they had unlocked everything. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. It was you. It was you. And now because of that, 2K will eat for generations, generations and generations. And they don't have to fix nothing because they can replace you. See, you have let 2K get so powerful that the person that now saying he don't have enough time for work. It's some niggas out there that got money that go to work and they just going to come and buy everything. And 2K going to still make the game as trash as possible so that everybody can come and eat at the table. Because now they don't care who don't got the money. Because if you don't got the money, then you won't participate. And if you do want to participate, then so be it. Deal with it. See, 2K used to get back on here and talk to us. Have y'all heard from Mike Wayne any? See, they don't care to talk to you no more. You done made them that powerful. Huh? Man, come on. You don't understand? See, you done made them so powerful that, nigga, here you go. I'll be back next year. What cause I'm talking to you for? You done made me the big dog. Nigga, the fuck I talk to you for? Go through the change of commands, nigga. Don't you come talk to me and you ain't talked to him yet, nigga. You think you just can walk up to me and talk to me? Talk to this nigga right here, your community manager, nigga. Talk to your little 2K YouTubers, nigga. Talk to your little Twitch streamers, nigga, and then they'll come back and tell me what the fuck you said, nigga. And I'll think about what the fuck you said. And again, I want to hear that shit. He's going to play it anyway. Yeah, he going to play it. Show, tell him shit his ass up. Well, don't say that, but, you know, they're going to make some more videos for them niggas. That'll be all right. He would have made the beast powerful. You know, made the beast powerful. I ain't even supposed to been talking on this video that long. So let's go ahead and finish out this shit. So, but yeah, I hope, I hope what I said made some sense to you. I know people thoroughly enjoy that game mode. I am not one of them. So every time when I'm in the main menu of this game and I'm picking what I want to play, or I'm picking that I want to go to options and I'm cycling through the bottom menu on the screen and it keeps popping up. Hey, buy this virtual currency. Hey, buy this virtual currency. Hey, every two times I move, it pops up again. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. We already got $70 for you, but we need more money. You got to give <laughs> us more money. Can you give us more money? No. No, I can't. Because you, 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 I, I'm not here for this. I don't care about about you. See, I love what he's saying. I love it. But see, you see how you feel and how most of us feel. We are not the majority. We are the minority. So the minority is saying, "Let's compete. Let's play the game. Let's have fun. Let's battle, nigga. Let's earn the right to be the big dog." The majority is saying. Man, I ain't finna compete with you. Hell no. Nah. I'm, I'm gonna compete with you, but I'm looking for an upper hand. Let me go on. Let me go on Google right quick. Hell no. Nah. What I'm controller? What controller can I be the best with? Ooh. They got this new controller right here. Ooh, shit. I'm gonna make all my shots with this. Okay, let me buy this controller. And I ain't gonna tell nobody I got this controller. Gee, I'm finna show these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna be a challenger now, nigga. I'm finna compete with the best of them. 
Them niggas think they can shoot like that? Okay. Do, 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 do. Well, you making all your shots today? Yeah, nigga, I've been in the lab. Okay, that boy been grinding. Damn, boy. He ain't missed a shot in five games. Yeah, that will happen when you put in that work. Okay. See, there's a, there's a thirst that is so powerful to compete with, with the next person because I say I am a part of this as well, the, 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 the thirst of being the best. And like I said, this is a study that they have done and they did in Africa. Africa. Uh, go look up the study um, of being number one. I, I don't know the exact terms of it, but it's a study they did in Africa of competing to be the number one spot. They made a bunch of kids race and all the kids stopped racing against each other and went across the finish line together because they understood that if you win, only you win and get the prize. But we all can get the prize. But okay, that's what I'm saying though. So this study has been ran through our community since we was in a baby. We've been racing to compete. We are bred to compete. It's the same reason we can't help each other in school. If you help somebody in school, what happened? You get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, you better help them before you get into this classroom. You know, there's there's an isolation. But I don't want to get so far off the topic, but you have helped create this monster. And, and now you have to deal with it. Your weird nickel and dime microtransactions that have polluted this franchise for years now. But it must be working. There must be people out there forking over their paychecks to to make my yes sir i'm one of them i'm one of them i'm one of the guys that gonna pay because see and this is what i tell y'all it's scary when you have great players that get in the mud with you see, you don't want that see the guys that were complaining that they had to work all day you made it worse for yourself <laughs> You got great players that now saying, see, so I can just buy that shit. So this nigga that was complaining was because he couldn't compete with me because he had to earn his skills. So now I can just buy that shit. And that nigga still ain't going to be able to compete with me because not only is I'm going to buy this shit, I still play more than him. He's still not understanding that I'm spending 12 hours on 2K. He's spending two hours. He don't know all the, the ins and outs that I know. Okay. On top of that, this is where the cheating came in at because that player that was complaining about working all day still could not keep up with that player that just was playing all day. So this is where you get your, your, your cheats. This is where you get your exploits. This is where you get your... Now, since I can't compete with him, I can't play the game as much as him, I need to be as efficient as possible when I do play. This is where you get your, let me make the brokest bill possible. How can I glitch the bill system? Man, I'm talking on so many levels. Man, boy. This is why, this is why I love the 2K podcast idea. Because if Anonymous is inside of a 2K podcast, then I know we have to expand our mind in so many ways. Because what I just said right there is on so many levels. 2K was birthed into a monster. They not birthed into a monster. 2K was changed into a monster due to the community that was complaining about they did not have enough time. Then that same community is now still getting punished by the guys that are now able to just buy what he bought. You bought it because you didn't have enough time. I'm buying because I got the time and the money. So now you have to cheat. I would say this. Most of the people that complain that they did not have enough time are the same ones that are cheating 2K today. I would put them two somewhere together. I would put them somewhere together. I may be wrong, but I would say 
a good portion of those people because the only reason that they complain because they cannot compete because they cannot come into our game whether i did not have the badges and, uh, and things of that sort either i had to earn them i had to earn them against another player let's just say for an example anonymous is playing against let's just say let's just say road dog i don't know who road dog is but i'm just saying the name so anonymous playing against road dog from wrestling y'all know Woo, you know, roll dog. You know, roll dog with the plats. Come on, dog. You know it. You niggas. You want to know X, the roll dog community, the DX boys? Okay. So Anonymous playing against roll dog. Roll dog don't have the badges that he want. Anonymous don't have all the badges that he want. But see, I'm still better than you. But the badges that you're trying to get, you're badge forming, but you're forming against. People that are actually gonna compete because 2K said that the only way that you can get this badge, you gotta get it inside the park games. Or inside the pro am, inside the red game. So you're trying to get this specific badge and you playing against a nigga like me, roll dog tripping now. Roll dog like man, this some fuck shit. How the fuck I supposed to unlock um shot creator fading off three, fading threes, and I gotta play against his sweat. Well, see. 2K said, well, you know, we didn't want to have to play against this sweat. You can go my career. They still was complaining because they had to put up 100,000 fucking fading threes. So now they still complaining. And we able to buy what they have. So now they told, this is my belief. Now they cheat. I think they cheaters. I think the people that are exploring our game and see what I'm telling you is, the people that are exploring our game was the lazy kids. The kids that did not have the skills. But when you do it, what do you think the skillful person gonna do? Y'all ain't understanding what I'm saying. How you want if you understand what I'm saying? When you, the lazy person, cheat the game, what do you think somebody like Anonymous 2K? See, I don't cheat. But I know some very powerful motherfuckers that cheat. When I say powerful, I know some dogs in 2K that cheat. Don't have to. But just because you doing it, why not? What? Do you know half of the Pro-Am League is cheater? Oh, see, but you created this. The lazy guy started this. The lazy guy is the reason Top players cheat. The lazy guy is the reason 2K is so money hungry. The lazy guy, the lazy girl is the reason our game is where it's at today. The lazy complainer. The one that wasn't good enough to earn his shit. See, oh, now y'all understanding. Oh, I'll be breaking this shit down so beautiful. It just take a long time because I won't be having all the vocabulary. The lazy guy or girl that had to work so much is the reason everything is wrong today. The lazy guy and girl is the reason that everything is wrong today. And because of that, you have bad motherfuckers. I'm talking about, listen, I know some bad niggas in 2K. I know some bad motherfuckers that cheat. I done, I done talk with them. They don't give a fuck. Nigga, you can't beat them no way. Nigga, if I don't cheat, you still lose. Nigga, what's so what? You think I'm going to let this little motherfucker come out here and beat me and cheat? It's not basketball no more. But it's not basketball because of two reasons. Because of what happened in the past and because 2K have became a corporation now. But 2K was not a corporation. See, I remember. You remember. Some of y'all been around since 2K11, 2K12. You know 2K didn't have no pool like they have now. You have been around. 2K wasn't the focus of basketball. NBA Live was. I did not come to 2K until 2K12. NBA Live was running shit all the way up until 2K11. 2K11 was when... 2K got a lot of NBA live player like nigga. Y'all heard about that 5v5 shit with your own player? It was like the 2K player that played NBA live, 
They know, but the ones that was, I mean, 2K, the 2K11 player that played 2K, they know, but the niggas that was on live, we was like, nigga, that shit sound kind of fire, though, nigga. I don't know, nigga. That shit sound kind of fire, nigga. You have your own mind player? Shit. Nigga was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to try it out, 2K12. A lot of my friends were like, nigga, we ain't fucking with no 2K because it was like some dumb shit. 2K was just like, well, a lot of NBA live players, 2K was like, nigga, the, like the lower class, the little brother. Like, that's a little nigga. You know, that shit, that shit, let's see that shit, how that shit look. It look weird. Even though NBA live didn't look no better, but it looked better than 2K, and it just was basketball. See, basketball heads was playing live in Video gamers was playing 2K. So, along with that came a new foundation. 2K got a new wave of players. And I think because when I came to 2K, 2K was in the corporation. They were just a little nigga. And so many of us basketball heads was like, this shit dope. Nigga, you had to play now. I used to be a play now player. And see, Anonymous has a track record in every category except my team. I was top five in the world, 2K12. Top five. I used to be a play now guy, y'all. Because that's what I came from here and be alive doing. Play now. You know, I did a little creation shit, but. I was top five in the world. I played on the Virgin. Y'all remember the Virgin shit? Who remember Game Battle? See, we're taking it back, bro. You remember Game Battle where you want to compete against niggas and you talking about that bread and you get on Game Battles, nigga, and we playing for the $20, $15. You know, you got a little more than that. You know, you go up. So this is what I used to do. I used to play the game, play now, and I was uh, a world class, nigga. I wasn't 205, you know, 200 and some, you know, 2K, 12, 13, I stumbled upon my part. I didn't even know they had a my part. Um, I think it was like the end of 2K, 12, I walked into, I pressed something and somehow I ended up in a part. And I was like, what the fuck? No. I heard about 2K11, but I didn't know how to play that shit. I just heard about it. I, but, nigga, I'm a play now guy. Nigga, I'm going to bust your ass, nigga, with this team. Nigga, I'm that guy you ran to pick my team. And I'm not capping. You know, all my homies to tell you, I'm that nigga. I'm the nigga that go around the community, play now. You ran to pick his team. He that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like I'm getting off subject. Either way, you lazy motherfuckers, you created this shit. You created this shit. My player to make the best my player in the world so I can go online and play as myself. I don't want to do that. I don't. Wait, wait, where are the game modes in this game? You remember when there used to be slam dunk contests in basketball I remember. games? I remember. Do you remember in, in ESPN? Yes, it was ESPN at the time. ESPN, NBA 2K5 with Ben Wallace on the cover. A game that she, came hey, out brand sleep, new nah. at $20. $20. I'll nah. say it one more time. $20. Uh, that was extremely successful where I could create a team and I could name the team and I could create a court for my team because I used to love doing this. You know what I would do? I would start a season and I would make a team and my team would be all free agents. And I would try to see how well my team could do. You want to create a team in this game? You can go to hell. You can go to hell. That's what you can do. You can't create a team. No expansion for the NBA. Even though you hear about Seattle getting a team Yo, again. I remember nigga how hard it used to be to try to hit the 720 dunk. I remember. I remember trying to hit that 720, and that shit was so fucking hard. Damn. No dunk <laughs> contests. But hey, That's you know crazy. what? You could play cards. 
and get your foil packs and get these cool cards and do all this cool stuff. But see, that's what I mean, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna move away from this video, but 2K was not a corporation. But the community turned a kid into a monster. 2K was a child when it came to basketball games. They was in last place. Some people may say otherwise, but when it come to main screen, bro, everybody was NBA Live when it come to main screen. You know, the people that played 2K, uh, you know, they played 2K, they might say that, and you might say, okay, you play NBA Live, that's why you're saying that. Nah, NBA Live was the basketball holy grail. That's where basketball was played at. I never heard of 2K until 2K11. Never heard of 2K. Never heard of a basketball 2K game until 2K11. So, um, but like I said, some people may say otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Like 2K been on the radar, you know what I'm saying? I, I hear people now, I have heard like when they had AI on the cover, I don't know what that 2K something, it was like 2K was on the radar when they had AI on the cover. I ain't never heard of 2K. Never heard of 2K. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. Never. And I, I don't know nobody else that I know personally that ever heard of 2K. And I know a lot of hoopers. I'm talking about when we was kids. Like in my city, we never heard. Like when we played basketball, when we go and travel around the community to play basketball, it was always NBA Live. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So when I came, when I started making these type of comments later, like towards last couple of years, people was like, man, AI was on the cover. Like 2K was popular. I'm like, man, I ain't never heard of that shit. And I'm, I'm just saying from my perspective though. But, you know, to wrap this up, what's good, gang? To wrap this up right here, I think, um, I love the angle that he came from. But I would go so far to say even he is not one of us. You know, he's not a hooper. He's not a competitor hooper. Based on what he was saying, it sounds to me like he more of a character guy of 2K. You know, based on what I heard, I don't think he one of us. I'm going to beat your ass, nigga. I won 300 games. You, I only lost one. I don't think he one of us. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I think he one of the guys that he won 20 games and he lost 40, but he liked the other stuff. But at the same time, he respect, hey, 2K, this is not basketball anymore. You know, I think that's kind of what I was hearing. That's why I couldn't really have a connection with him. At the beginning of his video, I had a connection with him. But then I started losing him because I think he started speaking more on the character side of it. And I'm not with the character side of 2K. I don't give a fuck about the character side. I don't give a fuck about hair colors. I don't give a fuck that 2K don't have dreads, braids. Like, I know, I understand from a standpoint of you see yourself and this is your character and you can't get the hair color and the hairstyle that you have. I'm asking, and I said this many times before, can you put away your own ideas of your customizations until we get the game right like people care so much about a part why would you invest so much of your time into caring if 2k gonna add a nice looking part when they haven't added in correct rebounding system and this is where like i be trying to convince myself that i live in a sane world but it's not a lot of sane people because what person would care more about a jersey than the actual gameplay? And I said, this can't be real. You got some people that care more about how it, this dude doesn't look like, he doesn't look like Steph Curry. Nah, he doesn't, nah, that ain't Steph Curry. Nigga, that's your complaint. Man. And I understand everybody's opinion is valid. I'm just saying, how is the core not the number one priority? How is the core of the game? Shooting, passing, dribbling, defense, 
rebounding, mo movement, those six things should come before anything on 2K. Them six things that I just named should come before any other thing on 2K. Tell me what should come before those six. You can't. You can't. Defense. Defense. Passing. Shooting. Movement. Dribbling. Rebounding. Them six things. Everything else need to come after that. And way down the line after that. So, you know, that's my opinion on this. The 2K community that um, I think a lot of these cheaters or lazy people and the lazy people have gotten the comp players to get involved in cheating because the comp players are already fucking psychos. Imagine a comp player losing to a fucking bomb. Don't you think this nigga finna go amp up and put all the juice in his medicine? So a lot of you lazy players you done created psychos that's now cheating at a level you can't even compete with. I told y'all, stage players are cheating. Pump program players are cheating. See, but you did it. You the reason they cheat. Because they don't want to lose as it is. Them niggas going to find every way to win. And then you come out there with your... And I, I've been working all day. Shit, I just tried to get some games in. And then you found your little exploits. And you told the wrong person. And then that person, it got back to the comp community. Because those are your number one cheaters now. Anybody that is a... 90% of comp players are cheaters. 90% of them. 90%. Okay, let me, let me explain what I mean by cheating. They're either exploiting the game, cheating. I know that's not cheating for most of y'all. I know that's not cheating. This is just my own opinion. Exploiting the game is cheating to me. Either they're exploiting the game, cheating, or they're using some form of coding. You know, where your controllers, uh, glitches, Almost 90% of comp players know about all the glitches. They know the glitches on top of the... See, this is what I'm saying. Because of one group of lazy motherfuckers, they have created so many avenues of badness of where we are today. And why the money-hungry beast Keep beasting. Keep feeding. We are going to be feeding 2K for generations and generations and generations. And like I said, for you and me that say, hey, this is wrong. This is bad. They can replace us. 2K has the NBA behind them. And they have a culture behind them. A culture of basketball. Basketball hasn't gone out of style, and basketball probably would never go out of style. So, therefore, every day a boy is born, a girl is born, that kid will be introduced to basketball. And you know what would be the connection for that real-life basketball? NBA 2K, the video game. So, therefore, a new product of 2k is born every day every day a new product so for you that's out here complaining about you wish they would go back to normal i.e anonymous 2k tv i wish we would go back to where we had to earn our skills but see so many people say ain't finna go back to that man hell no i don't care if they cheat me or not i still would rather have my 99 i could just buy it so this is where we are today you know, let's move on to the next video. Hopefully, I made some sense with a lot of. I was talking. I said a lot of shit. That a lot of shit. That a lot of shit.